I love it being at home in Hermosa Beach. Uh, it's my favorite place. I live here. This is my home. Yep. So you can't beat the, the local part of this tournament. And there's been a lot of great fans. Um, it's run yeah. really well. And it's been a great tournament so far. Family and friends are here. You know, like you said, we're in Hermosa. Super well-ran tournament. Everyone's super awesome and like, just in a good mood. You know? yeah. Everyone's just in a great mood and having a good time. So. Yeah, what can you say? That's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Hermosa is the best place to play beach volleyball. Um, the weather is incredible. People all kind of know the sport super well. I think uh, the mashup of like having some international guys and mixed up teams and the vibe has been really good and people are super positive and happy and I mean we play volleyball because it's fun and, and, and this is one of the funnest events I've played probably ever. I love that a lot of international players came to play in this tournament. I think it just keeps it really fun and brings the joy and yeah I think it's a really cool environment. I mean this group is freaking awesome. What coming together as this like full community and, and what we've had every night of just bringing the people together and just being able to have conversation outside of being on the volleyball court itself. Just um, this is my first time ever playing real international players. So I like that they kind of brought some guys in, mixed them up. We got to play three dudes from the Netherlands. <laughs> um, I like that they kind of, not enforced, but like, hey, you got to come hang out after, right? So it's like they had the player thing, party. No, yep. It's like building a bit of a, a rapport. community. Yeah. Hundred percent. Out and come hang out. We're, Go bringing, ahead. we're bringing back, uh, bringing back just awesome volleyball and great people. Thank you, my man. Okay, personally, um, Erin is a local legend. She's born and raised in Hermosa Beach, so playing with her yeah. in her hometown was just a really a uh, great vibe. And Absolutely. I think it's cool that since it's disconnected from AVP and everything, people got to switch up partners, and it felt like more of a fun tournament because it wasn't attached to like the point system and like everything else. Hermosa Beach Open has been a spectacular event, pulling in the entire community of volunteers, coaches, staff, athletes, international athletes from all over the world, 11 Olympians, absolutely epic quality here. Yes, and Matt Prosser said, Yeah, I mean, the Hermosa Beach Open, it's close to my heart. Love to see Mark Louis putting it on in the city, helping him out and jumping on board with it. Competition has been great all weekend long and, uh, you know, championship Saturday. The weather's perfect, the ocean's perfect, slight breeze. Get down here and watch this thing, it's fun. Um, I love the format, I love how it opens the field to international players and how people are split blocking, people are playing with uncontentional partners. They're just so much fun, it really highlights our sport. Yeah, a little bit intimate, right Tina? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> she said what she said. <laughs> Give me one thing you like about this Hermosa Beach, the setup, the, the Yeah, uh, sure. Go ahead. This Hermosa Open is unbelievable. To go back to the old school style and play the way we used to back in the 80s and 90s. Just all the fans intimate with the setting of the tournament. Incredible volleyball right here at the Hermosa Beach. It's where it belongs. It's the style we love. So yeah, thank man. you, Mark Palu. So Mark, who's going to win this? We are. Everybody. Us. That's the fans, right. the, the sport of beach volleyball, the players, us. Yes! There were a ton of great plays in our Hermosa Beach Open, but I put a compilation together, and here are my top five plays of the Hermosa Beach Open. Number five, that's right, you gotta let him cook. That's Sean Cook, that's his partner Cody Caldwell. 
And you know what, Tim Bruce has got a wicked left hand, but that cutover is not going to cut it. Speaking of cut, speaking of three-quarter shot, that's everybody else's 100% shot. And Sean cooked one cross-court, as we see a replay of the one on big. Number four, he's here, he's there, he's everywhere. I'm not talking about the electric slide. I'm talking about Hagen Smith doing the electric slide to cover the entire court. And let me tell you something, if that guy hurts you with his left, go down. Just amazing. Great twitch reaction, covering 15 feet in about a half second. That's Hagen Smith for you. Number three, that's Miles Evans, who can go for miles and miles and miles. Traveling all those miles with Buttinger from the Olympics to Manhattan Beach to Chicago, here to Hermosa Beach as he gets a dig in the fiddle, going middle. Travis Miller is like, get that middle stuff out of here. And Miles is like, okay, oh yeah, I got my bulletproof vest. Return to sender, insufficient postage. I love you and I love my crowd as the crowd lets him hear it right in front of the hotel in Hermosa Beach, California. Miles Evans, that's my play number three. Number two, who are we? Do we run? Who we run as well? Actually, the women of Troy run the world because those are all four Trojans in this women's final. Great cover. And there's a shot by Kraft, but an even better one armed bandit by Sarah Hughes. Kelly Chang batting cleanups. Got her partners back for this finals win. Man, what a great block and an even better cover that will even make Sarah smile. That's my number two play. But there's a reason why that was number two because my number one play is my man. Canadian sensation, Came Shaw, is just an absolute digging machine. Miles Partain, there's a little chicken wing dig, but look at this transition swing. But Miles is nobody's chump. Miles comes back at him on the line and came is like, oh really? I got line, I got chip off the block, and I got play of the day. And those are my top five plays of Hermosa Beach, California. Well, that's all I got for today, but before we go, I got a nice little five-minute segment, this little tribute to April Ross, who, as she's continuing the play, and as we continue to dial it back and take a look at some of these great female players retrospectively, she's definitely on my GOAT list. She's got a silver, she's got a gold, she's got a bronze, and she's she has brought everybody with her, man. She's incredible. Here's the interview. Um, I mean, it's crazy. It comes, it's come full circle, you know, I cut my teeth here in the deep sands of Hermosa Beach, just trying to figure things out, um, eventually figured them out, had a lot of success around the world, I'm very grateful for my partners, I end up with some really good ones, um, and then to come back here and get to play in the Hermosa Open again during my last season. Uh, means a lot. Thank you guys for coming out. Like this is awesome. We'll just... We love you, April. Yeah, it's been it's been a great run, and I'm glad to, to say it. Um, begin wrapping things up here in Brazil. We talked about your amazing partners. Let's talk about your partners off the sand. Your family. How important have they been throughout this beach volleyball journey? And what can we look forward to most in the next chapters? Oh, my family's been so supportive. Would not have been able to do this without them. They've you know, especially growing up, supported me, never pressured me, but just let me, you know, go after it, uh, follow my heart, and supported me every step of the way. So, um, yeah, definitely would not be, not have had the career that I did without my family and my friends Amen. along the way. Um, next chapter, well, going into the league with Alex, so we're going to have a couple more tournaments, do the best that we can, try to finish our partnership and my career on a high note. Um, and then I'm going to transition into coaching and doing some different things, hopefully mentor the next generation coming up. You know, maybe I'll jump into a qualifier here or there, but um, just too much. This sport takes everything. It takes a ton of dedication. It's a grind. You have to do it, you know, all day, every day if you want to uh, be at the top. So it's a lot. Um, glad I did it and looking forward to watching the next. Uh, crop of girls and guys 
And the last question is, if you think about the magnitude and reality of this event, there's so much history deep in this sand in Hermosa Beach, but this may have not been a reality this year, as Wet Bush presents the Hermosa Beach Open. The fact that we're not only having it, we're surrounded by the greatest, not only talent in the game, but the most phenomenal fans, all the amazing sponsors that made this possible. What does it mean to continue to grow the sport and to be part of it so critically? Um, yeah, I... You know, there was a lot of history before me, and I feel like I was, a lot, I was part of a lot of history, a lot of it here in Hermosa Beach, um, and hopefully there's a long story of history to come. Um, but the fans here in Hermosa Beach is what makes it so special, and it's kept this sport going for so long. Um, it's crucial that we have, you know, we're firmly planted here in the South Bay, having events like this, so huge thanks to Webbush and Mark Louie and San Cornex Group and everybody who uh, put this tournament on. It's been so fun to play and all the teams get to mix up and have a good time and um, yeah, it's awesome. One more time, April. Hold it on. Give it up for the GOAT! You all part of this historic moment and we're not done yet. Women's final, men's final coming your way. Webbush presents the Hermosa Beach Open. Thank you, April. All right, that's all I got. And let me tell you something. These players might love you, but I don't love any of you guys. In fact, no, no, I changed my mind. I love all of you guys. So for all of you at home, for all of you on your iPad, for all of you on your droids, if that even still exists, for all of you on this desktop, who runs the world? Old school, baby. I'm Jason DeBellis. Hope you had a great time. See you soon.